Hey everybody and welcome to the video. Just go up for a walk, get my steps in, and uh, this video today is about stick handling. And stick handling is one of those things you don't see it taught much. Uh, go to a lot of minor hockey practices and people aren't working on it, and I don't understand why. It's it's pretty important. If you have to, if you can't stick handle, and you can't move with the puck and do what you want, the rest of your game falls apart pretty darn quick. And it's all about playing fast. Uh, it's like catching and receiving a pass. Uh, if you can't receive a pass, if it's always bouncing off your stick just a little bit, then you got to go and get it. You're playing slower. So, um, and stick handling is important. What you need to do is, is you got to work on the skills until you have the habits that allow you to play fast. Uh, if you can't play fast, then the rest of your game is going to fall apart. So, let's get started. One of the things people do far too much is they is they really don't talk to the kids about the details. Um, so if you're just expecting that you're going to do a drill and that drill is going to teach them how to do it, then you're, you're you got a lot of hope, and hope is not a very good plan. You'll get what you tolerate, and people will just they won't be doing it properly. Pretty soon they won't be developed, and their game will be slower. And, uh, and it just affects every part of your game. Okay, some of the details, guys, is it's really important for kids to use their top hand. Okay, the bottom hand does not do the work. The top hand does the work. This the bottom hand is just a guide. Okay, and you got to make sure, kids, that they are getting full rotation. So when they're stick handling, it's not arms. It's mostly with the wrist. Okay, and... When they're stick handling, that top hand is the one that's doing all the work. Um, it, that seems very simple, but if you do not make the kids work on it, uh, they're gonna they'll be looking down. They won't have the same puck control on their backhand or their forehand. They're gonna have to slow down when they're skating. It's gonna affect their seeing the ice and missing passes. It'll affect every part of your game if you're not focused on it. Okay, here you can see some young guys. Little Adam players, they've got three pucks, and it's they're just working on a progression. So the first step of the progression is they're just going to use their top hand, and they're going to go through the pucks, full stick, so it's at the top of the stick. And you can see it's, it's hard. They really struggle with this because the stick is heavy, so you need a lot of strength. Um, and if it's too easy, then they need to go faster. So we're always trying to increase the speed and we're encouraging them to, to mess up. If they're not messing up, they need to go faster. So you want to encourage them and congratulate them when they mess up. You want to have that culture. Here you can see now they've got, uh, still using the top hand, but they're halfway down the stick. And now you're going to see they're using two hands, two hands on the stick, but they've choked up, so they're only they're halfway down the stick. So they really got to bend their knees and get low. And you can do it really quick, so they have to really work, focus on that top hand and making sure that it goes all the way to the back hand so they can control it as they go fast. Otherwise, they'll lose the puck. Now you can see the kids, they're, they're starting from back further and they're going full speed at the pucks, which makes it really hard. Um, once again, you want to encourage them to, uh, to miss and make mistakes. Um, you can see they've got the full stick now. This progression only takes about five to seven minutes of your practice. Thanks for watching the video today. If you have any uh, drills that you'd like to see or any topics that you want us to cover in future videos, please put them in the comments below. Uh, this is part one of a little series on stick handling. The next video will get into more of the details for that we can use for uh, moves and shifting of body weight and different progressions and, and uh, drills that work well during your practices. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.